What's up everyone? I was gifted these outdoor solar lights to review. So I'm gonna unbox them, install them, and check them out. Here we go. Here's the user manual. These look like uh, mounting brackets, possibly. Some screws and anchors. Two remotes. And we got one solar light right here. This looks like it could possibly go in like that. So you can remove it and slide it in and out. Or you can install it by just putting screws in the holes that are on this right here. These are also motion censored. Each one comes with a solar panel that has a cord attached to it so that you can put this in a location where there is no sun, but you can have this in the sun far away and still get power to the solar light. Here's another solar light. Another solar panel. Another bracket for mounting and more screws and anchors. So you can move these to different directions on where you want the light to be directed towards. And then on the back here, there is a mode button and you press this and there's four different lighting modes. There's light control mode, dim light sensor mode, strong light sensor mode, and flashing mode. So in the instructions that this comes with, you can know exactly which mode does what. So with the remote, you have the on, off, mode one, mode two, mode three, and mode four. Really nice. This does come with four mounting brackets. You have two for the uh, lights and then you have two for the solar panels. The first thing I did was install this. The solar light will go into this and hold it and then I grabbed two screws that it came with as well. I didn't need any anchors I just put the screws into it. The next thing I did was put the light into the bracket that I installed It slid in very easily, and then I was able to adjust the lights to which direction I wanted them to point. Next, I put the solar panel into the bracket that I put on the side of my shed to power the light on the other side. Next, I just grabbed the cord from the light and then screwed it into the cord from the solar panel. I did use some staples to hold the cord up and out of the way and made it look nice and tidy. I switched it to mode two. It stays at a low brightness and when it detects motion, it becomes bright. As you can see, this light is very bright. Here it is again at low brightness until it senses motion. You can really see the difference. I highly recommend this.